I use zenithal priming a lot in my work. And I've been asked, do you have to have an airbrush to do this? And the answer is no. You can do it with spray priming and I hear tell that you can even do it with a brush. Let's take a look at both the regular version, the airbrush version, as well as the spray priming and I'm gonna take a crack at dry brushing for the third one. Let's go to the desk. First, we're gonna show my usual method of xenophil priming with an airbrush. Starting with an airbrush primer and then using white ink from about a 45 degree angle. This is a nice balance between speed and precision for me as you can control the amount coming out of the airbrush and have at least some say in where it is pointed. We rotate the model and keep going until we've got the brightness we want to work with. I'm going for a pretty complete covering as I want these minis to eventually be mostly white. You can tell your zenithal was applied correctly by flipping the mini over. You should mostly see shading primer from this angle. Next, we're gonna look at doing a zenithal with just spray cans. This mini has been primed black with a spray as well. And we're gonna come in at a bit of a higher angle than the airbrush. Your camera might even freak out that you're trying to spray paint right in front of it. This method applies a lot more paint at once, so go a short burst and rotate more quickly. It'll be done in only a few sprays. You don't really have a lot of control over the application other than this, and the surfaces will be pretty much more uniformly white. Lastly, let's look at brushing on the white. This is probably the most time consuming method. And for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go with a dry brush using Pro Acryl Titanium White. The dry brush doesn't seem to be going on quite as well as I'd hope. And the paint is so highly pigmented, you might even be able to see some of it coming off like dust as I paint. It's probably a usable result, but definitely not the one I'd go with in the long run due to both time and completeness of coverage. That said about dry brushing, you can definitely try to apply your light values via more regular brush strokes, but for now, that level of skill is something for me to work up to. Here are all three of the minis that we've done. Which looks best to you? Which one do you prefer to use? Let me know in the comments. I hope this helped you get a better sense for zenithal priming, both in the airbrush manner and the spray can manner. And if you wanna give the dry brush method a shot, go ahead. Uh, tag me on Instagram if you ever figure out exactly how to do it right. I don't think I got it. I'll be continuing to paint these up as part of my uh, Battletech collection for Comstar. And I plan on doing a tutorial in the future. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy painting.